welcome to today's video. As you can probably tell by the title, I am filming the Ride or Die makeup take in this video today and I'm so excited because this take has just blown up on YouTube. It was created by Jaclyn Hill and I was tagged by my good friend here on YouTube, Pretty D. I will link her video down below as well because she did a great job on it. Um, I think this take is so cool because you just get to share your all-time favorite products. I decided to add two twists of my own to this tag and kind of personalize it. So first of all, I'm doing a tutorial version, which many people have done. I just think that's kind of showing my everyday makeup look along with my everyday makeup products, you know? It's kind of my ride or die makeup look with my ride or die products. So this is the typical Lavinia look. And um, two, my second twist on this tag is I'm showing you guys my all-time favorite brushes as well. My favorite tools to complete this look. So throughout the video I'll be showing you that. If I don't mention the name of a brush, that means it's not a ride or die brush. It's just a brush I'm using because I don't have a ride or die brush for that category. But many, I have many brushes that are all like my all-time favorite brushes for each category so yeah enough of me talking and let's just get right on into the ride or die take start with my little headband so my hair doesn't get in the way of my makeup when it came to primer I have a lot of primers and I have a lot of favorites but I know this kind of this kind of is cheating because I haven't had this product for that long I've had it for like a month or so but it has so quickly become my all-time favorite primer and that's the Hard Candy Sheer MV Primer. Uh, this says that it prolongs the makeup wear and even skin tone. And honestly, it does prolong my makeup. My makeup lasted like 12 hours yesterday and um, it, you know, it didn't start breaking or anything like that and I really see that it prolongs my makeup. I like how makeup sits on top of this and it's just a hydrating primer um, for my dry skin. So I have to say this is my holy grail ride or die primer and I'm, I always just take a little bit because a little bit goes a very long way with this stuff and I just apply it to my skin. Okay so while that primer kind of sits on my face I like to do my eyebrows. So I have to say that my holy grail brow pencil is the next micro brow pencil in the shade black. I just really love this brow pencil. It stays on my eyebrows all day long. It's just such a great, great color for my brows. Okay, and then for brow gel, although I use the Essence Make Me Brow a lot, I still haven't found a brow gel that I absolutely love, so I'm not gonna include one in this video today. So let's continue on with the face. I'm gonna do foundation now. And you guys know how I've been obsessed with the L'Oreal Infallible Foundation, which looks like this. And I was gonna name this my ride or die, but then I thought, I've only been using it for a little bit of time and I can only use this in the summer, beginning of fall season. I can't really use this foundation anymore. My skin is too dry for that. So I have to give it this title to my absolute favorite foundation that I love how it wears all year round and I can always count on my skin looking great when I wear this foundation. And that foundation is the Revlon Color Stay Foundation. This is my holy grail absolute foundation. I love this stuff. I can wear it during the winter, I can wear it during the spring, fall, summer, whenever, and my skin always looks great. And as I said, I am including brushes in this video, so my favorite way to apply this foundation is with a sponge. I don't like this foundation with a brush. Just has such good coverage too. And it gives a demi satin kind of finish. So I really like that. Okay, let's move right along to the concealer. As you guys probably already know, my all time favorite concealers, hands down, has to go to the Maybelline Fit Me concealers. These are my favorite. Um, I'm gonna use shade 15 under my eyes and shade 10 on my skin. Under my eyes. I'm gonna put shade 10 on my skin wherever I want a bit more coverage if the foundation didn't do it for me. I'm just going to blend that out with the other side of my sponge. It's now time to set that concealer all down. And as you guys probably already know, as you guys probably already know most of these products because you see me using them all the time and mentioning them all the time. My favorite powder 
It's the NYC Smooth Skin Powder. This is a loose powder and um, going along with the whole brush thing, my all-time favorite brush to apply my under eye concealer is the uh, Real Techniques Contour Brush and this is the only brush I like to apply this particular powder. I'm gonna set my eyelids too and anywhere else I put the concealer. Next, we're gonna finish off the rest of the face. My favorite contour powder of all time is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette. This is in the shade Dolce De Leche. I love this shade, and sometimes I use this shade under my eyes, but it's mostly just the shade to contour. My favorite brush to apply that is the Morphe E4. I just dip this into the side of it, and go ahead and contour. For bronzer, my all-time favorite bronzer is the NYC Smooth Skin Bronzing Face Powder. Out of all the bronzers I've tried, and I've tried a ton of bronzers, this is my absolute favorite. I love the shade of it. I love the tone. Um, a very close second is the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer, but I just find myself using this one a lot more. But I really like that Physician's Formula one as well, but this is just my all-time favorite. I'm just gonna bronze up the face using this. It's just a warm powder that it's hard to go overboard with it, but it blends out so effortlessly. I'm just gonna bring this down my neck too. Now for blush, you guys probably already know this one because this is like the only blush I ever use. But my all-time favorite blush is Milani's Baked Blush in the shade Luminoso. I love the shade of this. It's so, so beautiful. Gives the cheeks such a um, healthy glow to them. And my favorite brush for applying this um, was the e.l.f. Complexion Brush. But I have to say now it's probably the Wet n Wild Blush Brush. So I'm just going to use that to apply it to my cheeks. Okay, next we've got highlighter, and my all-time favorite highlighter ever is the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. This just gives the prettiest sheen to the skin. It doesn't look like much swatched or anything, but on the skin, it's gorgeous. Sadly, I can't use this in this video because it is too dark for me at the moment, so I'd have to say my kind of lighter option or second favorite highlight would have to be the Anastasia Glow Kit formula. I love this formula and my favorite shade is the shade Summer. So I'm just gonna use this with my favorite highlighter brush, which is the Morphe M501. Okay, we can move on to eyeshadow. Now for eyeshadow primer, I don't have a favorite. One that I highly recommend though is the Wet n Wild eyeshadow primer. I just don't use eyeshadow primer like that often. I just use concealer as my eyeshadow primer, so. Yeah, moving on to eyeshadow, my favorite all-time palettes. I have two actually, I use these every, almost every single day. They're my go-tos when I'm not really sure what I wanna do. So the first one is of course the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. I am head over heels about this palette. I always know what kind of look I want to do when I look at this palette. I get so much inspiration from it. I think it's such a great multi-purpose palette. I think it's amazing. I highly, highly recommend this. These shadows blend out really, really nicely as well. My second palette that I use almost every single day is the e.l.f. Mad for Matte Palette. I am obsessed with this palette. If you can find this in your stores and drugstores and stuff, pick it up. These matte shades blend and are so pigmented and they blend out beautifully like beautifully and they're it's such an inexpensive palette and you get so many matte shades to create various looks with so we're just going to do the typical lavinia look today as per usual i start off with just a shade like this in my crease just to create a slight transition Okay, I'm gonna head into the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette and grab the shade Milk Chocolate. Then I usually go in with the MB23 for Morphe, taking a deeper shade like Semi Sweet right here. Starting to put this in the outer corner and working it up into the crease. 
Then from there, we're gonna go into this shade right here. Bring that into the crease. Okay, I'm gonna grab the shade Triple Fudge, which is this deep chocolate brown, and start building this in the outer corner just to deepen up the eye look and give my eyes more definition. Now, most days I just do a matte look like this and that's it, but when I do want shimmer, I do take the shade Marzipan right here and put this on the lid. My absolute favorite brush to apply this like shimmer shade with is the base shadow brush from Real Techniques. I'm gonna take that shimmery champagne pink. I'm then gonna highlight my brow bone with white chocolate from the Chocolate Bar palette. Just a matte white shade. And then for my inner corners, my favorite brush is this flat looking brush from Sheer Cover Studios, but a great alternative if you can't find something like that is um, the Wet n Wild Small Concealer Brush, I think this is called. And I'm just gonna grab Champagne Truffle right here and highlight my inner corners. For the lower lash line, one of my favorite ever brushes is the e.l.f. contour brush. I'm just going to grab a semi-sweet right here and apply this to the lower lash line. My favorite liquid liner of all time is the NYC liquid liner. Mine is all beat up. I bought a new one, but I'm going to use this one up. This is my favorite liquid liner because it lasts all day on me. Um, the formula is really long wearing. It's kind of smudge proof. Um, not waterproof, but smudge proof. Um, and I don't know, I just really, really like it. I've gotten used to the applicator. Some people don't like the applicator, but now trying different liquid liners, I don't like other applicators. I really like this one because it lets you get that really, really dark, intense matte black eyeliner. So now that my liquid liner is all on, my favorite mascara of all time has to be the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara. Um, I love how this makes my lashes look. It literally makes them look like I'm wearing false without lining falsies. And I'm not gonna show you guys a pair of falsies today just because I don't have a favorite and on a daily basis, I don't really wear falsies. And I'm not gonna tight line today with a, uh, with a pencil eyeliner either because I do not have a holy grail pencil eyeliner. Okay, so now time to share with you guys some of my favorite ever lip products. Let's start with liquid lipstick. My favorite liquid lipstick color of all time is the Mariposa Matte Liquid Lipstick in this chocolatey, chocolatey brown delicious color. For lip liners, you guys know how I'm obsessed with the Rimmel Lip Liners, the lasting finish, like their pencil version. My two favorite shades are the shade Natural. I use this all the time, it's just a beautiful nude, and the shade Coffee Bean. Those are my absolute two favorites. For lipstick, my favorite formula has to go to the Maybelline Matte, Lip Matte Lipsticks and the Milani Lipsticks, which you can see all of them back here. My favorite version though is the matte version, but my favorite all-time shades have to go to Darling Nude from Maybelline. It's actually my second Darling Nude. It's just a nice peachy pink nude shade. And my favorite from Milani has to go to Matte Naked more of a cool tone lipstick. Yes, I'm mentioning a lot of nudes here, but this is what I wear most of the time, so they are my favorites. All-time favorite lip gloss is the Rimmel Stay Glossy Lip Glosses, and my favorite shade is this one right here. This doesn't have a name on it, but it's like a pinky nude shade with some gold reflex in it. So for my lips, I'm just gonna combine some of these things. I'm gonna line my lips with the lip liner in the shade Natural from Rimmel. And then I'm going to apply the Maybelline Nude Lipstick in Darling Nude. And then I'm just gonna go over that with a gloss. This is the Rimmel Stay Glossy Gloss. I have almost used this whole tube up. And that's the finished look, guys. This is my ride or die tag. I hope you enjoyed taking a look at my all time holy grail favorite products of all time. And uh, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what some of your ride or die products are down below in the comments. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. My favorite powder ever to set my under eye concealer is the NYC Smooth Kiss. It's the NYC Smooth Skin Con um